All right, it's early morning here on a Thursday. Time remaining six weeks for the new community expedition. Will it even tell me the name? This is the new outlaw-based expedition. I forget what name it is, but we're going right in. We're going to check it out. All right, here we go. You know, there's the new ship type, right? You don't think they can be lopsided, do you? Nah, surely, surely there's no such thing as an unsymmetrical sail ship. Come on. Blighted. Expedition number six. I'm on planet Ish. All right, I'm, I look normal. The compass. Locate your starship. Repair your starship. Um, that one. Visit a red star. Reach the first rendezvous. Reach the second ron rendezvous. Freighter. Lawless sky. Visit a pirate system. Collect gravitino balls. Deploy a submarine. Really? A submarine. Reach ocean ocean depths of 80 units. Acquire an aquatic treasure. Interesting. Eliminate sentinels, 25 of them. Steal a sentinel pillar, multi-tool. Visit a blue star, blah, blah, blah. And then finally, recruit a pilot to your squadron. Shoot down pirates. This doesn't look so bad. Let's locate the starship. Uh, oh, the analysis visor's busted. Okay, I need some carbon nanotubes. I do have a save point. How about that? I have a personal refiner right off the bat. That's rather cool. Let's line this stuff up. And we got two shields. And the jetpack can stay right there. The personal refiner is pretty darn cool to have right off the bat. Let's get some carbon. I need some plants. These look like plants here. Uh, I should be able to make a carbon nanotube now, right? Yes. So let's go over and make the, the fix the analysis visor. Where's the ship? Ship's in this direction, all right. So it was basically in the direction that I started up facing. I have terrain tessellation turned off. It's been really buggy for the last few patches and causes a lot of hitching. Um, and it's dark. Okay, well, multiplayer's kicked in. <laughs> Diospato 21 and Dutch 9110. And look at all that. What is all that going on? Communication station and the ship. Okay. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of people here. All right. There's my ship. It's just a fighter. And it's symmetrical. I reached my starship. Hooray. Let's go ahead and claim it. What do we get for that? I have reached the starship collect reward. Oh good, I get 10 batteries and 10 life support gel. And a band movement system upgrade. That's what we're talking about. Alright, let's see. Yeah, the ship's broken. Let's put that in. How good is this? 112, 12, 6, 10. Yeah, it's not very good. What did we really expect? There, I got the refiner charge. That is really nice. And then I got some batteries, so let's go ahead and recharge the shields. Both of them. Nope, only got one of them. Hold on. So I got two shields. I got two shields. Oh, this is just the 21% resistance. This is the actual shield. Okay. Galactic trade terminal. Can I actually trade here? I can. All right. I'll buy. Uh, let's see. Can I sell anything? I don't have any money. I don't have anything on me. Let's get some navigation data. Oh, menu. All 
All right, incoming message. Uh, launch thrusters need repaired. Iteration 4924G online. Atlas connection sabotaged. This ship seems to recognize me, but something is wrong. The damage to the core components is not consistent with a crash impact. Someone has deliberately tampered with this vessel. Your presence in this galaxy is unappreciated, Traveler Anomaly. We are watching and we are dangerous. Do not repair this ship. Do not pursue us. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, come get me. Trace the source. As I attempt to probe the source of the message, it self-destructs. The only clue is signature on the message, the blight. I have no m memory of provoking this animosity, but the tone suggests this is the work of interstellar pirates. I should repair this ship and investigate further. You bet- you betcha. We'll show who's the pirate here. Alright, what do I need to do? I need a hermetic seal and some metal plating. Uh, can I make a hermetic seal? I can. And uh, I can definitely make metal plating. For the hermetic seal, I need condensed carbon. I, have, I don't have any money yet. Let's start scanning for cash. There's aminals all over the place. I probably can make a terrain manipulator. This will get me some cash. Let's see. Multi-tool. I can make a terrain manipulator. That requires what? Uh, that requires two of the carbon nanotubes and a dihydrogen jelly. Alright, so here's some dihydrogen. Can I make a jelly? Yep. Can I make two carbon nanotubes? Not quite. Ah, here's where we can get some cash. Let's scan this cobalt down here. Cobalt and pure ferrite, that's a nice combination. Use that. Go ahead and recharge that. I only have two carbon. Ugh. Let's get some more plants. Just a plant. Nope. Let's get some more plants. Ah, here's some condensed carbon. How convenient. Now, can I? I don't have the upgraded. Uh, I can't make an upgraded beam, can I? I cannot. So I can just pick off the little condensed carbon around here. Nope. Advanced mining laser was the name I was looking for. Let's mine the rest of this, some of this cobalt. Launch thruster requires a dihydrogen jelly and uh, 50 pure ferrite. I got a bunch of pure ferrite. Uh, let's just put in, it was an odd number. That should be enough. And I should be able to make a dihydrogen jelly. And I should be able to make a metal plating. And can I make a hermetic seal yet? Not quite. Just a little more condensed carbon. You wouldn't... You wouldn't happen to sell condensed carbon, would you? No. Well, I mean, I can refine it. I'll take all your sodium. And I'll buy some batteries just in case I need them. Yep. I'll buy a few batteries. Ten more batteries ought to be enough. And then um, let's just get some more carbon. Identify this, even though the secondary element is going to be gamma roots. Not bad. That turns into carbon. A yucky mango. <laughs> I should be able to make some more condensed carbon now. Let's go to the exosuit. Let's go here. Let's get out the pure ferrite. And let's put in a little bit of carbon. Quit yelling at me. What are you yelling about? There's 30 condensed carbon. Now we want to make that hermetic seal. And I believe we have everything we need now to repair the ship. Pulse engine, boom, boom. Launch thruster, boom, boom. I believe the ship's repaired. It is. Clipped wings, restore critical starship systems. All right, you gonna give me goodies for that? What are you gonna give me? What are you gonna give me? 
Uh, warp cell times three, wiring loom times three, band launch thruster upgrade. I like it. All right. It's the tab escape thing again with these expeditions. So there's the warp cell. Let's transfer this to the starship. Uh, this is the band thruster upgrade. How much tech do we have? We'll put you back here. We'll put the launch thrusters back here. What kind of upgrade do we have? Launch cost minus 8%, boost plus 3. All right. Hyperdrive. This technology is critically damaged on the chromatic metal and three microprocessors. The next step is rescue an interstellar freighter. We'll sell the gamma root. You know what? I can buy batteries, so I'm going to sell the cobalt. I can... Nope. Okay, here's the thing. I'm going to refine the cobalt. 209. We're going to refine it into ionized cobalt, which is worth a little more. Hop in the ship. They're going to tell me that uh, I shouldn't have repaired it? Didn't think so. Alright. Backpack refiner stopped. Why did it stop? Because we're done. Exosuit. All right. Let's go to the store. Let's sell some ionized cobalt. Where are you? Ionized cobalt for 42 grand. You know, wasn't the cobalt worth more? Not sure. Um, I didn't even check the price. Could have gotten ripped off. Let's take off, eh? Let's see what's up out here. Is this a pirate system? Kahango... 15? 15. Alright. Uh, where's the space station? Let's go to the space station. See what's up with this. I missed. There we go. Didn't miss. All right, I'm going to turn multiplayer back on now that we're off the starter planet. Let's turn multiplayer back on. Should be a lot of people here. How much cash do I have? 33,000. I can afford a suit slot. Yep, we'll fill out. What do we got? Oh, look at all the cargo we have. All right. Good. Only pretentious jerks wear capes. Totally have a cape. There we go. Look at that. Gotta have a cape. Whoosh. Alright. Look at all these ships. Does anybody know what they're doing? Hey, look at my cape, everybody. Look at it. Does anybody know what they're doing? Take over the place. Stable. Online. 84% efficiency. Override code. Restore standing. One forge. Passport. Or leave. Interesting. Seek insight into the pirate activity afflicting the, ga afflicting the galaxy. Pirates often target civilian freighters. Warp to a nearby system and search for a freighter under attack by pirates. Okay. So we have to fix the warp engine. So do they happen to sell chromatic metal? Mm, they sell uranium. They sell copper. I can't afford that much copper, but I should be able to afford enough. So I'll buy 150 copper. I'm pretty much poor. I really like uranium, but it's going to cost too much, isn't it? Yep. Don't eat it. That's the way it goes. Alright. This is why we have the backpack refiner, though. 
Uh, this needs, not the pulse engine, this needs... Oh, I forgot to buy microprocessors. No. Alright, well, let's make some chromatic metal. Let's put the copper in. Alright, what did I get out of that? We got some gold, we got some silver. I mean, this shooting asteroids is a good way to make money, too. Might be a little faster than going down to a planet. Especially when you get gold nuggets. I ought to be able to get enough pretty quickly to buy those microprocessors. Okay, what do I get here? We got some gold nuggets. I've got uh, 28,000 worth of gold and 9,000 worth of silver and 4,000 worth of platinum. You gotta think like a pirate, man. Anyway, I'm gonna mine these things a little bit longer, then we'll go back and sell them, buy our microprocessors, and warp out of here. What if there were too many players in here? What if I couldn't land? <laughs> Luckily, there's always a landing pad open. Uh, let's see, let's go up here. Look at my cape. Look at the player warping around. Hope he's okay. Seems stressed. Alright, let's sell... Uh, let's see. Oops, it's gonna be in the Starship inventory. Let's sell the platinum. Let's sell the gold. Let's sell the silver. And let's buy... Let's switch back to the exosuit inventory. Let's buy three microprocessors. 57, I have 121. There we go. Alright. Yeah, this guy's all over the place. Alright. Alright. I gotta turn off multiplayer because that's distracting me. Disable. I don't know whether they're doing that on purpose or whether multiplayer is just a little crazy. Alright, we can now repair the hyperdrive with the chromatic metal in those three microprocessors. There we go. Which means I can move it. Let's move that to the exosuit. Move this down, move this down, move this up here where it belongs, put the warp cells in, we're ready to warp. Cape. Get a save, because I fixed it. Interstellar freighter, rescue an interstellar freighter, visit a red star, reach the first rendezvous. Will this give me... No. Okay, red star is the easy one though, I just need... More chromatic metal. We'll get that. We'll warp somewhere. Alright. Let's go somewhere. There's the next rendezvous point, and this is the path to it. I'm just gonna follow the path, right? Probably not a good idea. There's not a lot of planets in this system, but we'll see. Here's our freighter battle. Um, what the heck kind of freighter is this? Alright, it's not too bad. It's got a little spoiler on it. We do have some pirates. We're gonna hop in the ship. Yep. Give me the red. I want to get your shields down first, and then blast you with rockets. There you go. GG rocket. Gone. Let's see if I can get this down path. Get your shield down. G rocket. <laughs> go back. Need some more. Where's another one? Oh, they're right behind me. Oh, whoa, whoa! I'm back! Man, I'm having a hard time finding this guy. There he is. Rocket! Come on! Gotcha. Let's see, I got another one here. Yep. Rockets. Oh, I got Starship Shield batteries. How about that? Well, let's go ahead and use it. I got sodium, but let's go ahead and use a battery. How about that? 
Uh, I didn't want to use a rocket there. Oh, you're so slow. Get the shield down. Your shield's down, rockets. Oh, that had to hurt. Alright. Uh, one more guy behind me. Down. Oh, just run into me, why don't you? Should be it, right? I think that's it. Ooh, I got a lot of good, good drops. Mizuni Fitzwar. The life form, who must be the captain of this freighter, looks greatly pleased, wants to sell it to me. Freighter signal targeted, alright. Where is this, where is this freighter that I rescued? Right there. Ah, this freighter's not half bad. We'll take it. Maybe. What is it? It is a C16 plus 4 plus 0. Uh, well, you know, what are you going to do? Let's see if it's part of the quest or whether I should claim it or what. Quit looking up my cape. How's it going? Sorry. Lights flicker rapidly across the life form's visor and their head nods imperceptibly forwards. They seem to be showing me gratitude? Ask about the attack. Their facial lights flicker emotionally. The captain produces what appears to be a corrupted star chart. The navigational data glitching and popping. They thrust the chart towards me, looking tired of the sight of it. Rare item found. Pirate map fragment. One of three. Partial coordinate data. Acquired from the troubled freighter captain. The chart is signed with a snippet of pirate manifesto. We blight this new galaxy as we did the last, as we will the next. Data of this value to, is of value to the pirate faction, the blight, who attempted to retrieve it by violent means. Okay. From a precise series of hand gestures and a stream of electronic chittering, I gather the attacking pirates were seeking this chart and that this freighter isn't the first to be attacked. Ask about other freighters. Eyeing me with cautious respect, the captain shares the final transmission from a freighter lost from their fleet. Missing freighter's report describes contact with a pirate faction, then abruptly stop and make note of its last coordinates. Captain sighs. They look exhausted. They gesture towards the control panel of their own freighter, as if to suggest I take command. Inspect the freighter. I'm going to go ahead and... 583 chromatic metal. I'm going to go ahead and accept. Normally I wouldn't take a sea freighter, but you know... I saved a freighter from pirates, I get the liberation. And what do we get for this? Freighter recoloring options, cargo bulkhead, explosive drones. Ah. So where's the uh, managed fleet now? Engage warp drive now. Upgrade. I got some bulkheads. Let's upgrade the inventory, right? Add additional storage. I just got one. Purchase upgrades, customize appearance, reset the freighter base, leave. Alright. I, apparently I just got one bulkhead. Got another battery, got some suspicious weapon packets. I'll take them. What did I get? Uh, pulse spitter upgrade. Geology cannon upgrade. Blaze javelin upgrade. Hmm. Hmm, I say. Here's the map fragment. And I got some explosive drones. Cool. Alright, well. It's underway, man. So far, so good. Next step is visit a red star. Oh, I've got chromatic metal. 
I've got chromatic metal. I can visit a red star and reach the first rendezvous and get the phase one right out of the way. So let's see. Do I have the blueprint to make? I don't, but I bet you I can summon the anomaly, right? One would hope. All right, let's make sure to... Oh, the freighter's busted. How about that? Well, we don't care. Uh, I want to take this chromatic metal. Exosuit high capacity, starship, starship high capacity. Ooh, that's new. That's new. We're going to go exosuit high capacity. And gold and silver. Get all the money. All right, get all our goods off the freighter. I need nanites. So where is the space station in this system? It is right over here. Right next to it. So let's go in. All right, I'm gonna sell this stuff that I got to this guy. 56, 61, 62. I don't think that's gonna be enough. I don't really want these upgrades anyway. I need nanites. I need nanites because I need to buy a cadmium drive blueprint. Let's just make sure I don't have it. I don't have the blueprint. No, I don't have the blueprint for any of the drives. It's a cold planet, but I'm going to pick up some salvage data. Too bad I don't have a cold shield. Shouldn't be a problem, though. Oh. Any goodies here? You can refine that eventually down to nanites, but it would take approximately forever. Alright, and the buried tech is right here. You know, if I could get four out of these things, this would be over really quick. That's three, that's not bad. Alright. Let's start refining these things into nanites. That gives me 45. Let's get some more. Oh, this one's actually out of the ground. Easy peasy. Three more. There's 45. And this is going to be 45 more. That's probably enough. I have 1,245 1, nanites. That's going to be enough to get that drive. So let's go ahead and uh, summon the ship. Summon the anomaly. They are. I need cadmium drives, only 80 nanites. And you popped me out again. Remember when they fixed that where you wouldn't pop out of this menu? Remember that? And it's broken again. And uh, let's go ahead and get the emerald drive. Rapid right click did it. And then the indium drive. Get all the drives. I'm out. How about we just get the upgrade for the regular guns? Here we go. Non linear optics, hermetic steel wiring loom, and some tritium. All right, cool. Now, I got the blueprint. What do I need to, what do I need to make it? For the cadmium drive, I need the 250 chromatic metal and they've already given me three wiring looms. So there it is. All right. I've installed it, it's complete. I will not be talking to you. Let's go to a red star. That's 45 light years. That's 115 light years. That's 45 light years. This looks close. We'll jump here, then we'll jump to the red star. Discovered by Paradroid. How much? How many nanites do I have? 770? Let's see if there's a hyperdrive upgrade here. Just for the heck of it. Hey, just. 
a somewhat decent hyperdrive upgrade, please? Why, there's an S hyperdrive module. Thank you very much. Let's get this installed as quickly as possible. There it is. One hyperdrive module coming up. Corvex casing. Hyperdrive range 351. 351. 351 doesn't seem to make a difference. That is 234 light years plus 100% warp core efficiency. Good. All right, let's go to that red star. Should be right next door. There it is. There's two of them. Which one do I want to go to? Bob was here. <laughs> Suck it, Jason. Fine. We'll go to Bob's system. <laughs> and discovered by survival Bob. All right. Well, what was so great about this system? So this is Red Star. Come on, give me the reward. There it is, Red Skies. Visited a Red Star. I'm way too mature to do anything like that. 500 nanite, storage augmentation times two, band hyperdrive upgrade. So that did give me nanites. Storage augmentation, that's fine. What's the hyperdrive upgrade give me? Plus 100%. Wow, that's awful. Gets deleted at the first opportunity. Alright, let's go to the next rendezvous point. I guess there's not going to be any station here, right? This is an empty system. Yeah, alright. Let's go to the galaxy map. There it is right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, let's hop into the space station. Just wanted to get a save at the space station, just in case I want to come back. Let's go to that first rendezvous point. Wherever it is, looks like it's over here. There it is. Gonna get around this freighter. And looks like it's on a moon. Misty Moon. Alright, here we go. You know this is going to be the approximate location. So I need to find the actual location. Uh, can we see where might be the actual location? There's a building over there. Is that the actual location? Do I trust that this is the actual location? Ah, uh, it's a trading post. Let's land here. Trees. Can I can I get that? Thank you very much. Ah, uh, it's probably at that archive over there. No, I reached the first rendezvous. Tricky. And there's an archive right there. How about that? So I just got a warning. Uh, I just stopped here. I just got a warning that uh, that there's a pirate ship, look, attacking that uh, colossal archive over there. How about that? So, yeah, there he is. Uh, let's hop in. So this is an actual in-the-atmosphere battle. How's that rocket for you? Pirate raid defeated. All right. Wow, that was cool. Look at all the people. Okay, we'll land at the Colossal Archive now. If I can. Uh, I landed somewhere. <laughs> well, I didn't quite land where I was supposed to, but uh, that's okay. We're up here. This is a good spot. Yeah, up here on the Colossal Archive. All right. Well, wow. phase one completed, one pirate destroyed. That was fun. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later.